What's up, love? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if this is your very first time here. So y'all, today we are going to be doing a messy bun tutorial. I posted a picture with my hair like this this week and some of y'all DM me was like, girl, I need the tutorial on that bun. I guess y'all knew that it was more than just throwing my hair up. And <laughs> putting it in a bun. So I am gonna show you guys a real quick and simple, easy way to achieve this messy bun. And then we are also gonna be doing this Instagram baddie makeup. The reason I call it Instagram baddie is because I'm doing it specifically to take pictures today. <laughs> I'm creating some Instagram content and I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this hair tutorial while my hair is still straight and let's just beat the face on camera. Before we hop into it, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up. All right y'all, let's do it. So this video was very unplanned today y'all. I straightened my hair but I don't straighten my hair much at all. This is like the second time that I've straightened my hair since I went natural. And that's been for a couple of years. So <laughs> I do wanna take a couple of pictures with this hair before I go back to my natural curls because I don't plan on straightening it again anytime soon. I, I might take a new profile picture and I just wanna take some random like Instagram content today. So we're doing something pretty neutral, cute, natural, Instagram baddie-ish type. Um, I know you guys see me with the top knot. No, it's not all my hair because I have hair, but it's not as, <laughs> it's not that long, girl. So pretty much all I did was brush my hair up into a ponytail. Pretty straightforward and I do need to wash my hair. That's another reason why we're doing this video, y'all, because I need to wash my hair tonight. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pull it up into a ponytail like so. I'm gonna wrap it about three times. And I honestly, I can put it into, matter of fact, yeah, I am gonna put it into a little ball like that. We're gonna keep it like that just for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit my edges a little bit. Typically, when I'm doing this, I do my edges like at nighttime and then let it sit for the night because when I have this hairstyle, I don't like my edges to look really like molded down. I kind of want my hair to look like this hair instead of being like swooped real hard with some gel, if that makes sense. But I think we should, we should be okay. I'm gonna pull down some sideburns on both sides and get my edges swooped up into the ponytail. And I always like doing this little front swoop because I have a nice little size forehead. So I feel like it just kind of takes up some, <laughs> some space a little bit. I'm just gonna let this naturally fall. Just a few little hairs down here. It's meant to look more, you know, messy bun-ish. So next I'm gonna take my braiding hair. This is like the bundle of three and I just have one of them here. I put my ponytail holder on here. Most of you guys should know how to do this. You use a ponytail holder and you put it in between like this and then you just push through. Yeah, just regular braiding hair matches my texture pretty okay. Kind of looks like permed black people hair. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap it twice around the bun. And from there, we can go ahead and start. And I'm gonna twist this and I'm just gonna wrap it around <laughs> this. I'm tucking this in, but if you want, you can like wrap it into this part. I feel like that's not necessary at this point. And I'll just keep twisting it as I go. And if you have a bobby pin, you can use the bobby pin to secure it, but I'm just gonna twist it nice and tight around the base so that it's there. So now this right here is my hair and the rest of it is the weave. And we got us a little cute, messy bun. <laughs> I think this is really, really cute, simple, easy, especially if you do have your hair permed or you have your hair, you know, straightened or blown out, this is a really cute thing to do, especially if you don't have really long hair and you just want a cute little top knot, but not look like you don't have any length. That's it. <laughs> I feel like it's really simple, easy, quick, and cute, and chic, you know? So y'all, why was I about to say, let's experiment and do our brows while we're doing our face? Girl, what is wrong with me? Suggesting crazy stuff. We are not about to do that. <laughs> We ain't doing that. I mean, if I wasn't about to like try to take a lot of pictures and stuff, maybe. <laughs> but I need my face to be beat to the gods. Okay. Look at me done messed up my swoop. I tried to get a little baby swoop right here on the corner. You know, a little, little cute little. Yeah, girl. But y'all know I'm using my Joa pencil. This is what I always use for my brows these days. So we are doing 
Amand, which is a soft matte concealer from NARS to highlight underneath our brows and to define them. I told you guys in my full face of NARS video that this is something that I think I'm gonna start doing on a regular basis, just when I do my makeup, regardless of what I'm doing, where I'm going. So I didn't do my brows in that video, but girl, I just feel like it's easier to blend out versus messing with like a liquid, more loose product. This is a banger. All right, so what are we going to do today, y'all? I think I wanna do, like I said, like an Instagram baddie type of look, but I don't know if I wanna go with a little shimmer in on the eye, or if I want it to just be a flat little look. Hmm. I know this water hitting the spot, though. <laughs> So since I'm indecisive about that, we're gonna start with skin today. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Pretty Fresh Primer, and this is from ColourPop, and just put this all over the skin to make sure we are nice and hydrated. I kinda wanna try this Wonder Glow, which is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's supposed to like give you more of an illuminated, soft focus skin look underneath your foundation. I'm a little scared. <laughs> but I think it's more like a, just like an illuminating primer, so. But I don't think, okay, it's not doing a whole, whole lot. So I think we're okay. This is my first time using this, but <laughs> we're experimenting. We're experimenting today. It's fine, it's cool. Okay, so I do see the illuminating feel and look it's giving to my skin. So you guys, Bare Minerals just came out with a new foundation that I want to try out. So this is their Liquid Mineral Foundation, original Liquid Mineral Foundation. It's supposed to be like a liquid form of their powder foundation. I like the packaging, I like how you twist this up. Sometimes packaging, girl, can make a break, okay? This is in the shade dark, Neutral Dark 24, so. I'm going to take it out. It's a little more yellowy than I'm used to. And this did come in the PR package. It does come with a brush. So I'm just gonna use the brush that they sent with it, which is their smoothing face brush. <sighs> Disappointed, okay. <laughs> this looked, um, this looked close, closer to my NARS when I put it on my hand, but now that's just way too light. Um, I think that's the darkest one they gave me. Man, mmm, hold up hold up that i have worked with bare minerals and i forgot that i did get this foundation launch months ago <laughs> now that it's out um i couldn't really talk about it or bring it out so now that she's here we can test the colors i do have golden golden dark 25 is this one that looks like a good that looks like a decent match we have warm dark 26 and then we have Warm Deep 27. Oh, this might be our winner. This one's gonna be too dark because it doesn't match like my chest area. I'm thinking we might go with this last one. I don't know, let's see. So this one is Warm Deep 27. And to me, it's looking more like Macau. Y'all know I use Macau and NARS. I'm not crazy how this brush is applying it. I don't know if y'all see, but it's like real streaky. So I'm gonna move to my Il Maquillage brush because I do love this foundation brush. This is giving me very light coverage. It's not very full coverage. Seems like you would have to build it up a whole lot to make it full coverage. I like it, that's a good, that's a good shade for me. So I'm not complaining about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and work the rest of this onto my face. And since my eyes are bare, I am gonna go ahead and hit my eyes as well. I'm going for more of a bronzy feel today. So y'all know when I do that, I do like to use my Fenty Beauty concealer. This is in 480. So I'm gonna use this to kind of give us more of like a bronzy look on the perimeter. And this brush I'm using is from Real Techniques. But do you guys see how easy and seamlessly natural that looks? That's why I love to use this Fenty one when I'm not going for a really, really deep perimeter. And I feel like I've been cheating on this brush. I used to use this brush every time that I, <laughs> every time that I would do like my perimeter. This would be my go-to brush, but I guess I got so many doggone brushes. Speaking of brushes, or products in general. I'm not sure when I'm posting this video, but since we about to hit 200K, <laughs> we are doing a four person giveaway, sis. Four people. So I have been collecting a lot of products for you guys and I'm really excited for you guys to receive them. I cannot believe we are about to hit 200K. It is insane. <laughs> I'm really excited for, oh my God, that is a light. So this is the Bare Minerals 
concealer they sent, they just sent over two light of shades. I should have known. I should have known. I should have known. This is my shade that I would probably use to lighten up. So I'm just gonna match this side, but then I'm gonna go in with <laughs> <laughs> my normal concealer shade. So I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty 385. But yeah, for winners, I'm really excited about hitting 200K. I thank you guys for everything that you do to support me. I appreciate it, but I'm hooking y'all up. So I have like a bunch of bins over here of makeup for you guys. And I'm trying to do better of compiling more giveaway stuff for you guys because I get so much stuff and there's no way it's all gonna fit on my face. So I don't just give you guys and give away stuff that I don't like. I give away palettes that I like, dupes of things that I do, that I did receive, that I just am not gonna use obviously because it's a dupe. And this is my Haley sponge that I'm about to use, but um, I'm doing better about compiling giveaway stuff for you guys. So yeah, my sponges are messing with me. They are not like blending me out the way <laughs> I need to be blended out. I think it's because I just wet them and they're like way too wet. So I'm trying to fix that problem with my foundation brush and kind of helping out my lines of demarcation first. And then I'm gonna add another layer of concealer and let it sit for a moment and then blend it out. Okay, so now this is blending out a lot better. <laughs> a whole lot better than before. I'm just kinda, I guess I'm in a rush. What time is it? It was 11.30, girl. I wanted to be done by noon. <laughs> I really want today's face to be natural, but also very highlighted. So I'm going for a brighter under eye and all of that just because I want the photography to come out to really flawless. Before I move on, I'm gonna do my nose real quick, which I added way too much, <laughs> but that's nothing new, sis. That's nothing new. And I cannot lie, I like the fact that I don't have on eyeshadow so that I can really bring this down from our brow. I feel like that is like the ultimate sculpted outlook. When you can bring that brow down into the nose area and it just makes it more fluid. I wanna add a cream blush today. I do have this Cheek Heat, which is from Maybelline. And if you squirt it out, it is just a very pale type of pink shade. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit on my hand like that. Then I'm gonna take a brush, I'm gonna put it on there and start to work it on my cheeks. We wanna do this before we set because it is cream, like I said, but I really wanna get that blush look from within versus like right on top of the skin. And I'm not a huge fan of applying this with my fingers, so that's why I'm doing it with the brush. I wanna layer it though, because I do kinda want it to be a little deeper, but it is a very faint color. That should show underneath the powder. Now we're going to set the face. I know y'all tired of my Lord Mercier powder. Forget y'all. <laughs> but I am gonna use my Beauty Bakery powder today and this is their, which one is this? This is their caramel color, plantain. Under the eye and down the nose, we're applying with the sponge and then everywhere else with a brush. Not gonna go over our blush area too much with powder just because I really want to continue to see that color come through. But of course I am going to set it because we do need to make sure that we set it. I just don't want it to go away. I'll be scared when I use like, <laughs> products underneath like powder. I'll be like, girl, I'm about to cover this up with this powder, but it is a translucent powder, so we shouldn't have a problem. But I'm also thinking about the fact that I'm doing this for photography, so. <laughs> I know y'all just saw that. Lord, <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, I do wanna make sure it comes through on the camera, so for now, we're good. We're gonna see how we feel afterwards. I am taking my Lord Mercier to set my smile lines. I haven't been doing that lately and my smile lines have been coming through and making me mad to be quite honest. So I am gonna go in with that and really set those into place. Before we move on to eyes, we're gonna do a little bronzy. This is my Alamar Hydrating Complexion Trio and I'm using this shade right here in the middle, which is Cinnamon Sugar. And I'm gonna use this just to bring some warmth into the face, kind of see what it's doing over here versus over here with nothing. Further emphasizing that Fenty concealer with this. And then I'm going to sharpen up my nose contour, girl. We are really sculpting it out today. As an extra step today, just because this is for photography, I am gonna go ahead and take my Laura Mercier Medium Deep 
and I'm gonna sculpt underneath here. So I'm pressing it and then sweeping it on this whole area so that I'm more sculpted here. I might let it sit for a minute. I don't know though, cause I'll be a little scared when I let it sit. <laughs> I just don't want it to get too bright, but the fact that we're using a skin tone powder kind of makes it better, you know, so we don't have that issue, but who am I kidding? Let's dust it off. <laughs> I'll be nervous. But I am loving how our skin is looking. So now let's decide what we gonna do with this eye, y'all. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I love that I can see this blush though. I love that I can see this blush. That's cute, girl. That's cute. So I apparently went as basic as we can get. <laughs> but I'm okay with that only because I really wanted this to be cool for my pictures. Like I might change my lipstick, you know, while I'm taking pics. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. So I wanted something that's gonna be really neutral and i did it off camera because i was like maybe i'll come up with something real 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 cute real unique but yet instagram baddie like girl a fail <laughs> so i'm using my every night palette from minted and i'm dipping into harlem which is right here and this is our kind of everyday makeup vibe at this point. I'm using this in just in circular motions. I'm working this into my crease area, blending her outwards and bringing it kind of on over our lid, just a little bit. I really just want this to be a faint wash of color. I'm not interested in it being really, really dark. I just want it to just be there, you know, just frame, <laughs> just frame the eye. So I'm going extremely soft with this. And as you can see, this is a very fluffy brush that is aiding in helping us with this. Then I'm taking a bigger brush and going around it. I really want this to just be a wash of color. And then with a smaller brush, I'm going into the shade Houston and I'm going to dust this on the lid. So I'm sort of patting it there but i'm also kind of going in circular motions because i just want this to also just be a wash of color i want this to look very natural on the eye you see how this one is like that there's no lines of demarcation you kind of can't see where the lighter shade and the darker shade starts and ends that is kind of what i'm going for and i feel like this light color on the lid kind of opens up the eye and gives it more of a bright and airy everyday feel. Now, one thing I am doing is taking this shade and putting it on the lid like this. Like, you kind of can see that line right there to where it's only on the lid. And I feel like that is the only area that gives us a definition between the lid and the crease. And lastly, for this eyeshadow look, when I do looks like this, I always like to bring this lighter color and push it up into the rest of my eye right there. For me, it just opens everything up. I really love to do that. I don't know, it just gives me the vibes. <laughs> Lower lash line, we're going in with a very thin line of Harlem right on the edges. We're just gonna leave it just like that. I'm not adding any liner to this today. I'm just gonna soften that up and then that's gonna be that. And that's it y'all. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some mascara and pop one, some lashes. And these are the Eye Envy lashes in 185. And y'all, I use their lashes so much cause they sent me so many. <laughs> they sent me so many lashes. So my, my collection is popping. <laughs> so y'all, I am really thinking about leaving this makeup matte. I am loving how this is looking. Especially for pictures, the matte is giving me, it's giving me the vibes right now. Yeah, I really think I wanna just leave this. Of course, we are gonna do the lips very, very neutral. I thought about just going in with my Fenty Lip Cream. This one is in Mauve Wives. Let me see. <laughs> Girl, that is so cute. Isn't that perfect for like IG pictures? <laughs> but I feel like that could be, you know, changed out for whatever that you wanna change it out with, but I think that is super cute, girl. Oh, she cute, cute. <laughs> this reminds me of the lip gloss that I wore in my makeup for beginners video. <laughs> it was, I think it's a lot more pink than this, but I really love that. I think it's so cute and girly, and I can change it out for any color that I wanna change it out for. Yo, I think we done. I'm gonna set my face, cause some of y'all be coming for me for not setting my face. <laughs> 
Honestly, sis, I don't be setting my face because I don't be going nowhere. I do my makeup and I take it off. So what's the point of trying to get it to be long lasting when it's about to come right off? <laughs> but now I do need to take pictures and stuff. So I am gonna spray and this is with my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. Whew. Now I'm gonna dry it down and we done, sis. Let's go ahead and rip it up. <laughs> All right, loves, so this is our finished look. I'm loving it. I'm loving the matte. I'm happy that we did not go ahead and put highlighter on because I don't know if it's the blush that's underneath or if it's the illuminator that we used from Charlotte Tilbury. I almost forgot we used this. Girl, it's a lash on it. Story of my life. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I forgot we used this, but I don't know, y'all can see like a little bit of a glimmer coming through. I don't know if it was the not putting a lot of powder on the cheeks, but girl, it's cute. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought. Also, make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet. And I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Bye. I don't know why I just started laughing like that. <laughs> it's a good day.